Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Pike and Shot Campaigns episode number two. We're continuing our battle from last time. Uh, so I can't I can't uh, f actually charge this guy and flank him, but that's okay. It's not the worst situation. Um, I think what if we charge him here, it looks like it's a overall a win, but it's actually better for us to still wear him down with shooting him. The question I have is it better, so it's obviously better for us to do this shot. This is a full arc at um, short range, so we're going to do that. Look at that, 36, oh my god. Actually they returned fire 18, 13, 7, that was 38 that they did to us from 3, where we did 36 from 1. So now what we could do is, um, we could charge this guy? Ah, so I see what we could do is... Blast this guy in the face, he'll return fire, and then we could actually charge him with this unit. And we're pretty much guaranteed to win that. So let's do it. Okay, so 14 and 18. Not, not really clear who's going to win that yet. We have now this guy who's going to protect the flank. We'll keep um, wheeling around the corner here. I guess, is a long range fire better? No, he has cover. So I think what we want to do is engage him. I mean, I guess we could just keep shooting him. We're still doing 10 and 10. I don't know what he'll do, but actually, I'm not sure if anybody's in range of him now. <laughs> <clears throat> These guys are half arc unless he turns and faces, which uh, there's a penalty for moving um, on your turn if you're also shooting. So that's it for our turn. We'll have to see how this goes, but cross your fingers and maybe we're definitely down in the fight. We were down, I think, what was it, 26 to 0 at some point? Let's see if we can come back. Okay, they are massively disadvantaged and it's showing. This should be another victory for us. Yeah, we broke that one as well. So our cavalry has done what I expect them to do, which is win the day. Small advantage for us here. Hasn't really eked out. Hopefully we'll soon. Okay, wow, 37 and it broke. Did that disrupt? Oh, it did disrupt him. Oh, this guy's going to take some serious fire, though. We'll have to be very careful about him. He's going to disrupt soon, I think, from all the fire he's taking. Don't know how to deal with this guy. I don't... Yeah, I really don't know what to do. They break. No, fragmented first. Okay, fine. Hey, they're still just... Slowly taking a few more casualties than us. He's been, our uh, veteran horsemen have been chased off the field. Still, all, all those men that we can keep. And look, at we've, we've narrowed the gap. So this is the real problem, is what do we do with this guy? He's not disrupted, he's steady, but I feel like even waiting one turn is going to cause him to become disrupted. Uh, what I mean is, if I turn around here, we won't be flanked in our charge, but I think we'll be dis dis um, disrupted. It's kind of a lost cause, though. We might just want to do that. He'll buy, he might buy himself the most time that way. Or maybe he'll buy the mo himself the most time if he heads straight one more time and then turns next turn. Or maybe this is the best way for him to... Okay, so we can move... This guy can move four straight, so if we move here, he'll be able to charge us. I think we move like this and then start pivoting back. Can we pivot? No, we can't. Okay, well that's fine. Just run them... We'll run them around in a wild goose chase with that gentleman. Okay, so I think we have to push our advantage here because their guns are setting up and we need to get to their guns. Actually, our cavalry is just about to get to the guns, so I take that back completely. I guess it makes sense at this point to charge. 
Yeah, okay, so we want this guy to get 125. That's perfect. Good, he absorbed the fire. I, that's so good. Exactly what I wanted. I was really, really hoping that he would absorb the fire. So now this guy can't react um, to the fire that I will give with this unit. In fact, we could charge. No, we'll, looks like we'll lose that. But probably we won't lose that now. Perfect, he's disrupted. Ideal situation. Okay, we could just continue this long-range barrage then. I think that's okay because we're winning it. No, yeah, it's better for us to do something more intelligent about this. I think what we're going to do is march these guys forward. They'll take a, a few rounds of fire, but it's going to get this guy to have to turn and face. We'll do that even with both of them. Now this unit is going to round, and we want to get these disrupted units destroyed ASAP. Although, technically, mm, okay, let's, do I stick with that? Is that what I want to do? Am I sure? I think so, yes. Kind of made a mistake there. I should have fired at him, this guy, but that's okay. I don't, I mean, if he's facing this way, I guess he, nah, he wouldn't be vulnerable to a charge because you can't move too diagonal, but... All right, so I think we're gonna do this charge, not because we'll win at first. You can see that we have about an even amount a chance of winning or losing in the charge, but after that, 40% chance to win, so. Okay, good, so we actually, the one that we sh weren't sure we'd win came about even for us. And that's good, that's all we needed. So, who's next? Very good. So this is fantastic. I think that uh, after a terrible start, we're reeling things in, slowly. So this is gonna be the unit who we need to pursue the guns here. He ran right by them. <laughs> oh, shucks. Okay, that unit's off the field. This guy just dispersed. They're disrupted, which means that when he fights my weaker unit, he should be in even worse shape, but despite that, it was actually an even fight. this guy turn or something? If he is not being pursued off the field, we're in bad shape. <laughs> it should be breaking, man. They're massively disadvantaged. Hmm. They're holding really well for being, you know, in such poor shape. Not what I wanted, of course, but... My god, I don't know why, but we can't... Huh. Well, I guess we just do this. It's the only sensible thing now. He's cornered. <laughs> it's no good for him. But that's okay. So, we can't... We don't have enough action points to charge? Not close enough. Okay. Um... Okay, this guy should fall. Let's have this guy fire first so he absorbs the fire. Good. Now he can fire as well. Good. And we're on the hilltop, so we don't have to worry about being charged. This guy, what do we have him do? He's sure to win this, so let's do that. Good. We, we're going to get that guy. Okay, so I think we just... Unfortunately, eat it here. Oh my god, we can't attack from that angle. God, that's not good. We can't turn this guy either. My god. So he can do a flank attack now. I wanted to get this guy to attack like this. Although he is going to attack out of a disordered area. So that's going to be actually a, 
this guy's disrupted, but if you look down here, he's disrupted, but he is moderately disordered. So they're kind of on the even footing if he attacks out of this wooded area. What I plan to do is attack from here and then also attack from here so that we can get um, one person can get a flanking bonus. It didn't play out exactly as I wanted it to. Let's get this guy back around to break the gun, to kill the guns. Okay, that's the best we can do. Who else? No, nobody else. Okay, fine. Oh, Nelly. It's a close one. I mean, I'd say we're actually doing pretty well for ourselves, considering. It's a 2 to 1. It, well, it was almost nearly. Almost 2 to 1 in terms of power. Finally, they break. Very good. So that, that's the avalanche I was hoping for. They did shoot. They didn't... He's fragmented. Obviously, we're going to have to charge here. This is game over for this unit. <laughs> We lost another guy. But, okay, this that's an auto break. It's good. This guy's fragmented, which is also good. Okay, so probably we can just charge these guys and they'll break. Yeah, 71% chance to just crush him. Um, we probably don't want him to get a chance to fire first. You are no control. We can charge this guy now. We will win eventually, but... Okay, we'll probably do that first. Now we'll charge. Oh, wow, even the first one turned out well, even though we were slightly disadvantaged. It's always nice when the luck turns in your favor, and you should recognize that. I should recognize, oh, hey, you know, that went our way. We shouldn't say that luck never goes our way. Hmm. Okay, we're still sure to win that, but it's better to do it this way. Okay, the problem is if I turn, I'm going to be shot by this guy. I'd rather not be shot by him. I think we can do it this way instead. Okay, we'll just do it this way. Wow, he broke. Fantastic. Oh, he auto broke. Yes! Okay, this is good. This is really, really, really good. <sighs> okay. Just. I guess we'll just set up like this. He's already shot. Get this guy to start. Going this way, might as well just shoot. Nothing else we can do. So he's set up to attack next turn. Um, can we get this guy to turn? No. This guy's pursuing. Okay, who's left? Okay, this guy, well... The horses, we do need them back as quick as possible. So let's move them like this. Yeah, there's no, there's no uh, good thing to do here. So I guess we just charge because we're dead anyway. So we're, that unit will break next turn, but we've done a good enough job holding off their forces. Okay, I don't think there's anything else we can do, so next turn. Now, if things last... They have a whole turn, of course, to correct things, but... If things last the way they are, we're at over 40%, they're at order, over 40%, <clears throat> and we are at 25% advantage. I think they'll be able to correct that by that horse, we'll probably break on the next turn. Still even fighting over there. Okay, not surprisingly, they're going to charge that unit. This is the one that's going to kill us. Okay, we're down to fragmented. Flanking attacks, probably coming in next. It broke there. But he'll route off the field, I think. No, he didn't. Well, that was kind of unfortunate. Ouch. How did they get four hits in there? This guy can't have attacked him. I call, I call bogus. <laughs> but that's okay. 
What the hell happened here? Do we have a guy? Is this mine? I can't tell who's whose. This is mine, right? Shooting somebody else? <laughs> Let's find out. <laughs> yes, it's my guy who's shooting there. And we will win this again. I think the best thing to do is to pursue, but the Tatars are coming. So we might want to consolidate. How does this look? This is a flank attack, so they will break. Yeah, this is good. Let's do this. Very good. So that will give us an advantage there. Now we just need to start working on this unit. I guess we just move like this. He's back in control, but to be honest, I think we continue to charge him to keep him out of the line of fire of these musketeers. Okay, and we're doing more damage. It's important that we don't want their forces to walk away with a lot of force, uh, with a lot of men remaining. We'd like to wipe them off the field entirely. So yeah, let's move like this. Let's give us a shot like this. This guy will move like this. Give us another shot. Okay, good. Getting 10 damage there. Um, let's keep some support for this guy. Shoot that guy. Just want to make sure he's not going to come back. Actually, part of the reason I'm doing this is just because I don't want their troops to survive. <laughs> but he is routing, so he's, he's done for. I think these are... Oh, these are their Dragoons. They're, the flag is so, like, you can tell based on the white flag how good of shape it's in, whether a unit is likely to come back. For example, this one, which is Russian Cavalry. Not very tattered flag. That's a unit that could rally. Very unlikely to rally. Very unlikely to rally, This these two guys. So, um, I think we'll maintain our good position on the hilltop here. So we'll just shoot him. And where do we want you to go? I think you'll also help out with the musketeers here. So we'll have you do this, and then if you can turn, which you can, good, we'll turn. Okay, good. So who's left to move? You. Yeah, and you're just going to bum rush this light gun. <laughs> I think, I'm not sure if you can get there next turn. I think you'll need two more turns. All right. So they narrowed it because of the routing of our other cavalry here. But if we can get back by killing this unit or... Well, really, that's the only the only action going on right now is um, this unit. And if it routes and it gets them, I don't think it's 7% by itself, but it might be because this is based on pure numbers. So, like, if you're looking down here, 207 out of 205, the same kind of thing which is appearing on the right, 277 out of 475, the pike and shot usually end up making up a majority of the units. Um, just there, the size of one pike and shot has more men in it than any other unit. So routing it might be 7%. I'm skeptical, but maybe. Okay, they are fragmented. And they should be broken now. Nope. Stick around for one more turn. Well, that's okay. They dispersed. Wow, that was very lucky, because that was the Russian cavalry. I was a little worried about that. Okay, this guy <laughs> turned and faced the wrong way. He'll be dispersed the moment we um, contact him with our uh, cavalry. We're drawing all these forces away, at least. Oh, he broke. Okay, good. <laughs> these guys actually interfere with my ability to shoot that guy. <laughs> okay, well, anyways, this is obviously a problem for the light guns. Hmm, do we keep charging these guys? I don't think so. Now we're probably needed in other parts. These are veteran unarmored, so both of these guys are juicy targets. This one much more so. But we probably should just stay compact. And um, since most of their units are cavalry, if we stay compact, I think we win. We might even win before this guy can get back into the fight. But what I'm seeing here is we have a possibility to hit this guy from the rear. And we're so close. We're so close to um, defeating them. Let's just do it. So I'll do this, and then we'll move. 
I, I, this is really safe. We can still angle down this way if we need to, but now we can go off this way if that's better. Okay, so I don't think we'll be able to... We move one, that's only going to move this here. We won't be able to actually attack him. We could move... We can't move two. Could just fire from here. Okay, they are, their musketeers are better than us. I forgot about that. Also, this is another problem. Yeah, they are just so freaking good. We're doing like two damage to these guys at a time. Uh, that's. I mean, how, how do you how do you defeat that? <laughs> Lost cause. Okay, so we just gotta push harder elsewhere to compensate for that. Okay, I think we do this then. Okay, that was good, I think. So we'll just push forward and overwhelm this guy quickly. Okay, next turn. So close, 24%. That light gun even would have done it. Oh my god, 57. What the hell? We just have to charge that guy immediately. Get Take his guns away. Oh my. Oof. It's really close. In fact, the next unit of the routes for them, they lose anyways, because the first person over 60% loses, so. Wait, what? Is that it? Is it my turn again? Huh, it is. I don't really know what they did for their turn. Yeah, well, obviously we'll just move this guy in then. I mean, it seems to, be more, seems to make more sense. Can we? Is anybody in charging distance? Okay, good. So this is a loss if we do it right now. If we just do this, it broke immediately, it's good. From a distance, let's try to fire at this guy from a distance. Damn it, I was hoping to instigate his return fire from a distance. Damn. Okay, we got his return fire, now I do this one. Disrupted him, good. Just pile it on. Okay, we'll get this guy since... I mean, if you can't shoot anybody, you should still... Oh, this guy can shoot. Very good. Oh, very good, very good. Okay, we can still shoot somebody. Why not? Can't turn with that guy. Okay, so we'll get to this guy next turn. And uh, their guns were such an insignificant population, such an insignificant number of troops, that that did not even break the 60% for us. Well, okay, here we go. We do the same thing. I guess we'll do it this way. Okay, so now we're finally starting to win that. And we have m more men than them anyway, so that's... Eventually we'll win that. Okay, fine. Not happy. <laughs> this is kind of a silly loss of troops to be exchanging. That's the least favorable for us. Okay, so this, this got up to 60%, so I guess those um, guns were that 2%. Should also break these guys, maybe? Cavalry's coming back, but it's too late. It's just too late. Disrupted them. That's good. That's really important, because now they won't be able to fight as well. Good, still hitting that guy. Nothing really left. There it is. So, this is a pretty sizable victory. I think that it was unexpected. The original strength... Okay, I mean, it doesn't... This is the important thing. Captured, deserted. So they lost 1,500 extra, essentially, because when you lose, that's when you're captured, of course. Okay, so a good start for us. After the battle, the unit side win. Okay, so we get Alon and experience. They get uh, experience, but no Alon. Negative morale. 
All right, another battle. <laughs> Eskilsholm. Well, I guess we just jump right into this one as well. This is also considered a... Wow. So the chance of victory is 56% because 8% from my previous record, which means that without this 8%, we're just as disadvantaged to win this one. 48% <laughs> chance to win. I don't think we should auto-resolve. Let's go ahead and fight it anyway. Yeah, we are just significantly outnumbered, though. My god. They still have a, an, an advantage. Okay, let's... Does this affect our value? This is still at 75. So if they attack into a force, a, a tax value place, it doesn't reduce the tax value unless they're there sieging it for a turn. Okay, so defense is really important, then. You need troops to defend. Well, let's just start the battle. What's the point of doing this if we're just going to auto-resolve things, right? I was really tempted to when I saw that 56% though. <laughs> okay, this is a... Wow. Okay. How do we deal with this? Now, they have their Tatars, and they have... Um... God, what do we do? I mean, I think the only thing that makes sense is to force them to move through this bit of rough ground. Just to forsake this middle bit of forest. If we had musketeers, I wish we did. You know what? I kind of wish I had done the French versus the Swiss. That would have been a lot of fun. Um, however, it's too late to think about that. Maybe I can do that for the next strategic campaign. Um, I think what we want to do is... Probably put our guns here, a defensive here. Maybe some cavalry in here to defend. Oh, our dragoons can stay in this forest. That's nice. Yeah, I think we're best off shifting as far over to the left as possible. That's my opinion. <clears throat> their horses are not going to do very well against rough ground, and if we can fight in a box, their horses can't gain that that huge flanking advantage that we, we so feared in the last fight. And we saw that it didn't go well for us. I mean, one-on-one, -on -one, our horses are better. But, so we'll move this guy, whoops, let's move the guns here for now. Probably want these horses down here. I don't know where they'll want, be wanted eventually. I might even do some, like, really crazy strong flanking maneuver. Although, why does it give them this as shaded? This just means I can't see it where I am? I think it means I can't see it currently. But I have vision this way. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so we'll we'll do the same thing. We'll just react and move and whatever. So we'll want our guns, I think, started limbered. Uh, I'm going to want them. It's going to be a little weird. I want them here so that they can do one, two, one, unlimber. I want them facing that way. Otherwise, I could do this. One on limber, and then turn for another turn? I guess I can do that. That's okay. Alright, we'll do that. If they can't on limber on the same turn, then I won't... Uh, so, if we can move here... Okay, so this is interesting. What if I can do this? Can I move and then turn? I really wish I knew the game mechanics well enough to know what I'm doing here. So, anyways, on his side, I may think it makes sense to put some... Pike and shot with light guns, and probably uh, we'll want our normal pike and shot as well over there. The reserve ones are going to be in the middle areas, and then we'll need the main forces over there again. So we'll get these guys to be like this. Okay, pike and shot with light gun. Get him like this. You're going to go gun, gun. This one doesn't have to be, this one doesn't have to be actually, this could be a reserve. How many reserves do we have though? We actually don't have as many units as I think we do. <laughs> okay, so that's good to know. I still think we have to weight this side a little heavier, and the reason why is because they will be coming more from this middle area. They're going to set up in the middle, right? 
So they will have to shift over, which means we probably won't have to cover the flank as much. And that's where our cavalry should go, I guess. So let's get the unarmored horses to the far side. Because they probably won't be attacked by anything unarmored. I mean, they probably won't be um, attacked by anything with any range. So, and we'll keep our veteran horses on this side, I guess. And we'll keep um, some armored units on the other side as well. So let's keep these three horses as the ones who go over there. And these three horses are the ones that stay over here. Okay, so we have this unit, this one targeted for here. Still going to target this area, that's fine. So this here, then this unit will go here. I guess we'll get another guns here. One more here. We'll probably leave these blank and defend at the corner here. And then put our cavalry here. Okay, that's that seems fine to me. Have we set up optimally for that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. These guys aren't set up optimally. We could probably do something different with these guys. Maybe even still sneak somebody in, like in the corner here. Maybe send two guys around together. Uh, strength in numbers, maybe put three. The Dragoons will be... I think we'll have leave the Dragoons right here. I think that's what we'll do, is have them right here. Give us good vision. They can fire and retreat, fire and retreat. That'll, that'll give them the most amount of um, area. To That'll give them the most distance to fight before the um, troops come. Uh, sorry, the most distance where we can fire at the enemy troops because they can fire and then retreat and then fire, you know, so. Ideally, they'd be probably even up here, but we'll stick with this and see how that goes. Let's do here. Now, they had to avoid the rough. No, we don't have to avoid it. And this is all open ground, okay. So they will be our flanking force. Yeah, I don't know whether or not to include these guys as well or not. We'll probably leave them in reserve. Okay, so let's do this. I really hope that this guy can move, turn, and then... Okay, well... Oh yeah, they set up very far to the other side. Okay, that's good. They're coming immediately. So I guess we'll leave our horses on the right in reserve. They might even try to go through the forest, I don't think so, but just in case we'll actually set up to defend the forest. So we'll have to defend like this. Like this, facing this direction. Um. Okay, he'll get there next turn, and then like this, facing this direction. Okay, so this guy will get here. Can he turn? Please turn. Yes! And unlimber. Ah, oh, perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Okay, you are going to be on his uh, wing, so you'll go there. You're going to be here, I think, so we'll get you over there. Yeah, and I don't think we're going to need um, all these guys... Let's see, one, we'll probably diagonal off here. In fact, just one, two. So maybe even this guy here? Yeah, this guy here diagonal, and then this guy here diagonal. And this guy might even stay in reserve. I don't know if we'll need to push him that way, because they're coming so strong from the other side. But he can get all the way over here. This would allow us to track them. I'm, I'm going to do this, because I want to I track their movement. Okay, so that's good. And this cavalry we will still bring along the flank, but do we need all of them? Maybe just two. We, I don't think the armored is important. I'm just guessing that the armored helps against guns and stuff like that, so let's turn this guy around, basically. Okay, that'll be his turn. Uh, yeah, you're fine the way you are. You're considered unmoved. Can't shoot when moved. No, you aren't. Okay, good. I think the first turn it just gets all this stuff wrong, and I think we moved everyone. So let's just go ahead and call this turn to a close.
I'm really happy that our Dragoons are going to scout for us here. That's very nice. They are diving in there. I think they're going to come around. I don't think they're going into the forest. Yeah, we can see that they're avoiding the forest. Okay, who is... They're actually pretty content to, <laughs> to exchange fire with us. Okay, so we are expecting this to happen as it is. So we'll get this guy to turn and face this way. Yeah, we'll have this guy face as well. We'll set up a nice line over here so that we can... You know, we, what we want to do is actually spread these guys out. I'll probably want one veteran or even just the non-veteran, the horse, way down here. So that if they come in, we can angle out. If they don't come in with enough to complete the line with us, we can flank. So force the issue there, which would be nice. I think we want this guy to go one further, even. And this is the guy who will be here eventually. The Cossacks are coming in. Light Lancers, Swordsmen. Let's take a look, closer look at these units. Huh, so they're good against any mounted except heavy lancers or pistol. Their impact is good, basically. They have a good impact. And they also have the bow. But I think one-on-one -on -one against the bow, our units are better. Yeah. And they set themselves up poorly. Ah, balls. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, we'll get this guy to go support over here. That'll even be the guy we can keep down there. Okay, I'll do this. I think we'll do it like this. Um, I don't know what we'll do exactly, but we can even just try to keep this line. Thing is, I don't know if we're going to be needed over to the right. Yeah, we're, we will win that exchange. That's good to see. And our Dragoons are much are worth much less than their Russian Cavalry. That's like an elite force for them. Okay, so who hasn't moved? You, but you can't do anything. I don't know what to do with you. I want to kind of leave you as a reserve force over here. Or maybe back this guy up one? It's hard to say. Maybe do that. Maybe back him up one. Okay, let's say he can always move forward. Let's just move him back for now. Oh, I like that. It's going to strengthen this line. And then I, what I'm going to do is actually move this guy like this, but I'm going to face him diagonal this way so that he can move this way if he's needed over there. Okay, so who hasn't moved? You're probably okay where you are. Yeah, you might as well just turn this way, though, because there's no threat of being... Oh, yeah, they could come through there. Yeah, I don't think they're going to do that, though. So, okay. And turn. And we'll probably call this video to a close here so I don't go on another 50-minute episode. <laughs> Oh, uh, they disrupted me. Okay, you know what? What we do then is we just pull back into the woods. Okay, I can't see what they're doing. I hate it when the camera's... The camera's not very good in this game. It doesn't track movement very well. Okay, at least we did some damage with our guns, finally. So the very first thing I'm going to do is pull this guy back. Just allow him to sit, recharge... Um, it might even pull them back over here and we can start doing damage to the Cossacks as they come around and stuff like that. That seems sensible to me. I think we'll leave this horse in reserve, send this one down, and then have the two veterans right next to each other. Yeah, okay, that's what we'll do. This guy probably should angle this way. 
Eh, he doesn't need to yet. Okay, so this guy, we're going to have him face this way. So we're not sure where he's needed yet. And these guys will just... Uh, they'll finish off over here. There we go. I like it. I like the wall we've set up. Do the best with what you've got. I don't think we need to do anything else. Oh yeah, well, we might as well just shoot, right? This is long range and this is short range. Very good. So we should do more damage now. They're considered skirmishers, I guess, these uh, Cossacks, so... Hmm. It's a disadvantage to our guns. Anyway, I'm going to put a cut in the recording here, 40 minutes, just like I thought. And uh, we'll finish the rest of this battle in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and until the next one, take care.